Hi, I'm John Coe with Coe Press Equipment. Uh, this is our latest offering in, in our, our heavy duty series roll feed. It's the 5 inch, 48 inch uh, design. Uh, this, this machine is feature rich with uh, a lot of innovations that we've made in our engineering department. Um, uh, the one that we think is going to be a game changer is the servo piloting uh, activity. This will allow people that have servo presses to, to uh, utilize the uh, oscillating uh, um, activity in the lower without going a full cycle on, on, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the press stroke. Um, we think this is going to be a game changer in the industry and provide uh, tremendous throughput. Thank you. Hi, I'm Matt Scheller. I'm here at the Ida America booth. We're at A2009, Fabtech 2018 in Atlanta. We're showing a near fine blanking application in our press. Uh, we're showing how you can get that fine finish quality on the edges of your parts in one of our server presses. This is Jeremy Edson from Wilson Tool. Coming to you here with the X Sharp grinder we're introducing here at Fabtech. Uh, the X Sharp grinder here is designed to allow you to sharpen your tooling while walking away and doing other stuff in your, in your tool room. Here's a quick demonstration of how this operates. CBN style wheel. Come in here, select your product. Select your surface area, how much you got to grind off. Determine how much you need to sharpen on that product. Adjust accordingly. Hit start, and away it goes. From this point here, the machine's gonna come down and sense where that product is at. Once it knows where it's at, it'll come back in and it'll start grinding. It'll flood it with coolant to keep everything at a nice low temperature to keep softening the tip on there. And then it'll leave a nice crisp sharp edge on there, similar to what you'd get out of a standard grinder. Hi, I'm Stu Johnson, a product marketing director here at Plex Systems. And we're talking about connected manufacturing. Plex is a unified system that brings the top floor together with the shop floor and connects the supply chain from suppliers to customers. Hi, I'm Ray Praber with Accurate Die Design Software. We sell LogoPress 3 die design software. And we're demonstrating Die Debugger software today. It's part of our die design software package. And it allows you to debug dies while they're still on the computer screen rather than going to tryout press like we used to do. Uh, we make way too many mistakes on dies that don't need to be made. And for any type of press that's making any kind of stamped part, practically speaking, whether it's slide machines or transfer presses or punch presses, whatever, we can easily debug the dies on the computer screen and not take it for granted anymore that we have to do that debugging in the press. Hi, I'm Jim Finnerty, Product Manager for Winters Controls, and this is our newest control, the SmartPak Pro. The SmartPak Pro is the latest in a long line of Winters controls that control all manner of uh, automation on stamping presses. Programmable limit switch, die protection sensors, tonnage monitoring, clutch brake control, ram adjust, you name it, the SmartPak Pro can control it. One of the most exciting new features of the SmartPak Pro is its, a, its a enhanced communications capabilities. The SmartPak Pro, in addition to controlling all the tra traditional uh, Winters press automation stuff, we can communicate with feeders, uh, lubrication systems, any external automation, and we can communicate and control it all from our screen. So you're not putting multiple screens, multiple user interfaces on the press. Uh, we can also host a Wonderware created user interface. So if you have an advanced user interface created in Wonderware, we can host it on the SmartPak Pro. Uh, the SmartPak Pro features a color, large color touchscreen with customizable dashboards. So every operator can come up with their own dashboard and set up the information how they'd like it displayed. Hi, I'm Pat Ontrop with Pax Products. And what we're talking about is our EGDM oscillating conveyor. And it's being used below lasers so it can bring the scrap out from the laser. The advantage the EGDM has is as a very low profile, as you can see on the screen, it can get as low as six inches. It uses the oscillating gear set to drive the parts. Uh, what our customers are doing is they're sledding that below the laser and then uh, having the scrap drop from it onto a gooseneck uh, metal belt that then brings it up into a bit. You can see there it's dropping out to a floor on a lower conveyor and it's been a very unique application for us. Hi, my name is Ed Williams. I'm the general manager with Quintus Technologies, a manufacturer of fluid cell hydroforming presses and we're here at Fabtech this week and having great interest from our aerospace customers in high pressure warm forming for the use of titanium in the next generation of aircraft. Uh, 
lot of uh, excitement around this new technology and customers are uh, willing to take a look at this, this new up and coming process that we're developing in, in order to save money in processing titanium.